Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> Hi, my name's Jake Heyman, and this is my business partner, Joe, and we're here to pitch for a £60,000 investment in exchange for 20% of equity in our business, Frame Again. I was at a wedding in Iceland, and I was taking my photos on my iPhone and Instagram. When I got home, I wanted to get the happy couple a framed photo as a gift, and I realised pretty quickly that there were no cool frames out there which were targeted at people like me, um, so I decided to design one myself. Frame Again is all about the product, but it's also all about getting your photo printed, framed and delivered the very next day. Our website is really simple. You go online, you see the frames that you're going to buy, you then get framing. If I order these right now, they're going to be on my doorstep tomorrow. We did some polling when we wanted to start this business, and what we found was that 30% of 18 to 35 year olds said that they'd buy at least one of our frames a year if it were on the market with the service we describe, and that goes up to 50% amongst Instagram users. We welcome your questions. Can we have a look at one of your frames? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, well, can I just Could I have Duncan's one, please? <laughs> Could I have Peter's? <laughs> <laughs> A focused pitch from young entrepreneurs Jake Heyman and Joe Kenyon, who are seeking £60,000 in return for a 20% share in their online photo framing business. But there's something about their product which is troubling Kelly Hoppen. It's actually not a bad idea. I just can't bear the design. I can see what you're trying to do in creating this slightly retro frame, but it's so cumbersome. We're looking to iterate the design, we're looking to broaden the number of designs we have. How many frames do you intend to have? Because clearly you've got one design which won't work for everybody. There's no reason that we can't go on to frames that fit a 6x4 or a 7x5 photo or do different designs. But I think just with this frame we've got a good way to get started. What does it cost you to actually make this? It costs us about £8 a frame at the moment, but we think with, um, uh, as we scale up, we'll be able to bring the cost of the frame itself down to less than £4 a frame. Say I decide I want to go and buy a frame and choose one of my pictures, how much is it going to cost delivered? Uh, it's £21.99 total. Right, OK. I think in our vision we can build a business around that product. Are, are we satisfied and resting on our laurels? Absolutely not. It's a confident comeback. But Deborah Meaden is unconvinced that there's enough demand for photo framing amongst the smartphone generation to make it a lucrative business proposition. My experience is that most people actually just keep them on their phones or they keep them on or they put them on their screensavers or they, you know, there's an electronic way or a digital way of viewing their photos that actually they're very happy with. Well, I'd like to say personally that the inspiration for the business came from wanting to print and frame. More people than ever are taking more photos than have ever been taken in the history of the world combined now on smartphones, and people do actually want to do something with them. It's just they need the triggers to be able to do that. They do believe that the majority of people's photo experience is now online, but they really cherish it when they do make that commitment to buy. For now, at least, Jake and Joe are making light work of some heavy questioning from the dragons. But something in their pitch appears to have riled Duncan Bannatyne. You said when you pitched there were no cool frames out there. And I find that a little bit insulting because I've got about 100 frames in my house that I think are all pretty cool. And coolness is a matter of taste, which is subjective. Exactly. And Very well answered. I, 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 I have to tell you, I have to tell you, I don't think these are cool at all. I really don't. I think they're quite ugly, actually. Okay. So for that reason, I'm out. Thank okay, thanks, Duncan. Jake and Joe have lost their first dragon. Will Kelly Hoppen be any more willing to make them an offer? Guys, um, I think you're great. You really are. and. Um, I think your idea is great. You know what I feel about the design. Yes. <laughs> it's such an easy thing, what you've created, 
but it's 21 pounds. That's quite a, a high number. I really don't think that for that money, I would want to spend on something as plastic and bulky. Um, I'm not going to invest in you, so I'm out. A blow for Jake and Joe, as designer Kelly Hoppen declined the opportunity to invest. And Piers Linney also has concerns. The thing that jumps out at me is uh, yeah, some very big companies, you know, with photo boxes and various people like that, and they can easily add this service. There's obviously nothing stopping photo box bringing out a frame like this, but Photobox and its high street equivalents are the companies that allow you to print your photos onto, into snow globes and onto jigsaws and onto mouse mats. I mean, when you look, I think if you look at the people we're targeting, they don't use mouse mats, they use touch screens. I'm waiting to see what a certain entrepreneur in the photo business is going to say. He's been very quiet. What do you think of Jessup's? Um, we like Jessup's. <laughs> We love him. We love Jessup's would be better. <laughs> it's, it's, it's respectful competition for now, but the aspiration for us is to, to grow this business and see a clear exit to one of those more traditional, bigger businesses. And, and where do you see, what sort of revenue do you think you're going to be able to achieve in the next year? Well, it depends if you invest or not. We think over the next year we're going to be selling about 10,000 frames, and so um, that's about 160 grand we'll bring in. It's not exciting to say that your business is going to generate 160,000 in income. It might be exciting for an investor outside of it, but for me sitting here owning Jessup's, we'll, we'll launch framing and we'll deliver that sort of income in a week. Within three years, we'll be looking at selling uh, 50,000 frames, so 800 grand um, and 600 of that uh, gross profit. If we can create a brand that means we're the go-to people for printing, framing and delivery um, for the smartphone photographer, then we think there's a huge market. The pair have gone head-to-head -head with photography giant Peter Jones and survived. But will their composed performance be enough to sway Deborah Meaden? My big issue is every element of this business will be under attack from businesses that are better placed to enter that market and dominate that market than you. You haven't got anything that is, other than the two of you, that is going to, is a barrier to entry. So I'm afraid I won't be investing. Um, and genuinely, I'm kind of disappointed in that. Um, but I, I'm out. Tricky with you guys, because I really like you guys, I really like the product. I'm just not entirely convinced that, you know, with the kind of money we're talking about, you're going to be able to produce enough traffic to convert into picture frame buyers to, you know, generate an investment that's worth getting involved in. I wish you could remember the different business, but as far as this one goes, I'm out. Four dragons have now walked away from the deal. Only Peter Jones remains. What do they, you say they cost you to make? Um, at the moment, it's costing us about uh, eight quid, but we can bring it down to less than four quid a unit. There's a, a few things. One. You mentioned about the size of the market. Um, I agree with you. The, the market is opportunity is big. And I'm sitting here thinking, actually, you've done a better version of how we are looking to create our online piece in terms of the options because you've kept it simple. Well, I'm offer. I'm going to make you an offer. Do you want a job? Uh, is that you plural? <laughs> um, at, at. Would you both like the sixty thousand pounds 
in the shape of 100% of your business, but you get a job working to build the framing and photographic marketplace within the UK's leading imaging company. Um, we hadn't prepared for that one. I think I think we'd have to think carefully, and we'd have to have a talk about that. talk about that. And um, can we take a moment? One hundred percent. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much for your offer as well. It's an astonishing development. Less I'm in, and more you're hired. Do you want to do this? This could be fun. I don't know, do you? I don't know, I mean, I could take it. I'd say we'd do it, man. I don't know. We're talking about a job here. Yeah. 100 grand a year, can you do that? Yeah. Let's roll the dice. You with it? Thanks for your patience, guys. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Peter, um, if it's okay with you, we're going to turn down the offer in, in a couple of years' time. We're going to be knocking on your door, hoping you buy our business for a much larger sum. Good Very luck good. to you. <laughs> well done. Thank, Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Good, luck. good luck, guys. Thanks. Good luck. So Jake and Joe depart without the £60,000 investment they were seeking. But despite leaving empty-handed, Peter Jones's job offer has turned their visit to the den into an occasion to remember. <laughs> My head's pretty light. Yeah, I, I, I'm not entirely sure what just happened. <laughs> I couldn't tell you what happened. I know. <laughs> but I can tell you, no, I, right? I, can, I can tell you we, we made the right decision. Yeah.